intro all the way all the way at the house so i came all the way to rick house to do this so man you already know what it is i'm at sov rick house right now and we about to make another update video of everything that's going on man this man been putting in work he been letting me know what i need what i don't need he got to explain why we didn't need the other pieces that i just sent back i try to explain it better than i mean i try to explain it the best way that i can but I'm gonna have him explain why we really didn't need it. Like I said in the video, well, actually, y'all haven't even seen that video, but in one of the videos, I was explaining why we didn't need the part. So I'm gonna just go ahead and have him explain. This man been putting in work, y'all. He been putting in work. He got things tucked. He got the new injectors in there. So uh, it's almost there. It's almost there power wire up over here ran real nice and tucked so he's tucking things and making sure that it look nice and clean up under here um yeah but other than that i know some things down here we already talked about i need a new rack and pinion and stuff but that's all done i get all that after this car get wired up and we hear the fire for the first time but yeah they doing this thing man Nice and clean. So ECU right there. And uh what else I got? Yeah, so like I said, I got the ECU up in there. I want my screen up here, so but hey, he putting in that work, man. He getting it done for your boy. Getting it done. I go put my boy's thing on here. His stage two angle not bad. Not bad. Not real far away from the fender or nothing. I actually like it. Yeah. I actually like it. Yeah. I don't really like GTs, man, but some people make these GTs look real good. I ain't gonna lie, I like that one red one that he, his stuff look his, his look real good, man, but I like these wheels. I want these wheels. I think that yeah, right. Everybody knows where they're going, but it's alright. Everything would be fucking my deck and everything should tuck this shit up. You see, it's I put that wood board right there so okay. it actually lay flat. Alright. And then drilled into the wood board. Yeah, because I just wanted to see. I probably won't have to get the other because my TV deck kind of fat, so I probably gotta get the old school pop out. We'll see. Yeah. I can always try to move that that back some. Yep, but the ACU computer is up in there, man. Yeah. Slowly but surely, like I say, it's getting done. And then it was a fucking wire up in here. I don't know what that this what shit was. I don't know. Uh, it was, I was going to ask you about that. I don't man. know. I just I need to get it out. Okay. Come here. Yeah, I've been having this in the car since I got it. And it seemed like I had nitrous or something, but fuck. That motherfucker don't do nothing. He don't even know what it's for. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't know. It even, it even hooked up a, 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 fuse, to a fuse to it. Yeah. It did something. It did something, but at the, at, under the car, it's not hooked up to nothing. Ooh, this shit was dirty when I used I know y'all remember some of the videos, boy. This shit was bad. I even see it leaking right here. So, yeah, my record pin is bad. I see it dripping right there, man. But man, he didn't clean this shit up up under here. Them power washers is a motherfucker, ain't they? But man, you put your car out my driveway. My driveway gonna be standing a little bit. <laughs> I'm about to go That's get, get some the power washer and degreaser again. Uh huh. But I even took the starter cable out because I was gonna hook it up, but it was covered in grease. I was like, and then at that point I was covered in grease, and I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> I can't do this. Like, yeah, can't do it because I get up under there and don't trip. Yeah, nah. I'll be up under there all greasy. Let's grab your intake so we can explain what the parts are. I've never seen the inside of one of those. Y'all know what time it is. Rick got to tell. He got to explain everything that's going on, cause I ain't been here, and he's been the man at the time. Uh, 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 how should I say it? He's been the man with the uh, with the torch right now. <laughs> Run the marathon, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So 
basically from last time pretty much all the wiring's been kind of routed and ran <clears throat> all the injectors are plugged in with the new 24 pound injectors uh, that was pretty simple uh, it's all labeled um, coolant temp sensor is plugged in had to go to Chevy style and then use the back of the intake versus uh, the front where you would normally have it wide band O2 sensors plugged in to the old O2 sensor hole they give you a little too much extra <clears throat> extra harness though with the uh, universal kit I mean, you got this much left over so you got to figure out something to do with that um, you have your loose wire harness which comes with about five or six wires on it I believe I think it was five in any case one of them is the ground we already have that grounded to the chassis here uh, one of them which is the green is going to control the fuel pump mm -hmm. then we have this red wire here which we have to go straight to the battery uh, and what it does is it powers the injector poles and then the fuel pump itself uh, which is the green wire so the red wire actually has a uh, fuse breaker or a fuse holder on the inside near the computer um, <clears throat> another thing about the universal harness that sucks is the auto air control valve the throttle position sensor uh, we're not going to use uh, the MAT uh, but the throttle position sensor and the idler control valve uh, we're going to have to use that actually we are going to have to use a manifold air uh, temperature sensor take that back but anyway uh, we have to cut this connector off and then we have to reuse uh, the Ford connector uh, for the factory style um, because the pigtail so this is for a Chevy uh, we tried to use a Chevy part but the Chevy part doesn't fit the Ford in the throttle body so back <coughs> to uh, having to swap out the pigtails to the actual Ford one. Luckily, they are the exact same colors as the Ford, which make it nice. So the three colors there are the same ones that are on the Ford harness. Right here. That one's going to be a little different because we're not going to use, uh, per the uh, instruction by Holly, we're not going to use this. <coughs> we're actually going to build our own wiring for it because it uses a post width where this one is uh, basically like a, a Chevy style where it's a stepper motor style. So we actually have to uh, build a post width signal uh, with negative ground post width. Um, the wires that we bypassed, which are uh, a white wire, which is for points connectivity for an MSD box, but being we're using the TFI, they come with it on the coil itself. So you bypass this one. Then this other one is an RPM controller. Obviously, we don't use an RPM signal on here because we're going to use the dash itself or the uh, the handheld, I should say. Um, and that's pretty much it on this. I mean. We did route uh, the main power wires for the computer itself uh, from the firewall back into the engine or uh, uh, wheel well. If you want to come over here and show them how I routed it in the wheel well, they can do the general idea. And then from the wheel well, uh, we came back up through here. Uh, we took off the uh, airbag sensor here, went behind the airbag sensor. Uh, we have a zip tie here holding it underneath of the back. We took off this uh, crash sensor as well and ran it through where the headlight harness is. And this is where we came out with extra uh, leftover. So plenty of wire to run it that way. You can't even, you don't even see anything. Everything just looks really clean. And then how we ran the computer. In the computer and where I like to put it is right here in the <coughs> in the radio housing that way in case you have to diagnose anything um, you got all your status lights right here all you would have to do is take four screws out get the stereo out and there you are um, easy access to everything as well um, all the harnesses hit under the carpet uh, we have our keyed ignition switch so this is going to be our switched ignition bolt or ignition source so how this is going to be wired up this is going to be wired up to uh, receive power only when the key is turned on 
Um, and here again, we have our green wire, uh, which is labeled for the fuel pump. So what we have to do is we have to run this and go underneath the driver's seat to the fuel pump relay. And for the triggering switch to tell the fuel pump to turn on, that's how we're gonna do it. So this is gonna be the trigger wire while that already receives wire from the body harness or power from the body harness, as long as your body harness is good. Otherwise you have to do a relay. Um, and that's a whole nother thing we're not gonna talk about because we're not doing that. <laughs> but yeah. So these are good to use for a snake. You get two big zip ties, you cut off the end, and you tape them together. You should be able to fist this to anything in the fox. Mm. Well, y'all heard the plans. I'm just a man that's paying. <laughs> he the man that's knowing. So it's getting there slowly but surely. It's getting there, but for the summer, it will be ready. No rush. So I'm about to go ahead and test drive my man's car. They said his car would feel better than my Racelands. I got told in the Racelands, man, they cool. You know what I'm saying? I was stiff. They was it was too much on stiff, but putting it on soft, man, it was, it was, it was, it was too much. It was, you know, on soft, it was hella good, but on stiff, it's too much. Only time I need it on stiff is only if I'm at the track. But yeah, let's see. Like, let's 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 go ride around. And see how this man suspension feel. Nothing crazy. Ugh. This man is pondering. He don't like certain things. I understand. So I'm gonna let him ponder. I'm not gonna bother him. <laughs> Nah, man, but I got to get on this freeway. Y'all see what I'm on. But, uh, yeah. It's getting there. Injectors in there. Y'all see where the ECU and everything is at now, so. It's almost there, man. 